What? Oh, yo, we are going to talk about this Lock Monkey Key Gauge. 12-in-1 Lock Monkey Key Gauge sent in by HKS Systems. We're going to put his YouTube link in the description and at the end of the video and, and like right here. I think I can do it. But uh, he sent these in as part of some of the stuff that he was uh, he sent in to let us give away. I've been using this for, well, pretty much since he sent it just to give it a try uh, because I, I like this key gauge because it's got a bunch of key things on it and I think I'm gonna keep it, but there are other ones, uh, other things that he sent like some plug followers and stuff that I'm gonna do a little bit later review on. I was gonna do a video with all of the plug followers and this together, but it kept being too long. So let's get started talking about the Lock Monkey 12-in-1 key gauge. That's all right, 12-in-1 uh pretty nice little bit i i like this key gauge so we're gonna talk about it so key gauges key gauges key gauges did i did i not bring any keys out i've got i mean i got this key here's a here's a quick set that'll work okay so with key gauges most of the time you you buy them and they're like you know these individual ones we've got falcon which is is just wiser we've got quick set uh here's a sergeant one shaped like a key and on the back of the sergeant, I made a uh, I made a schlag. Look at that, works really well too. Now you will notice one difference between some of the gauges, like say this this one, this one, this one, and say the quick set. We've got that staircase step, which is what the Lock Monkey version is. Little staircase steps instead of it being angle. Depending on some people like these better, you know, a lot of a lot of them come only one way, so you really don't have a lot of choice. Uh, but with the the angle instead of the staircase step, if it's not really thick, and we see this is this is a thicker metal, the Yale one. What happens is when you run your key down it, we'll just we'll just use this as an example. When you run your key down it like it'll it'll you can push and it'll twist the metal so number one the key gauges have to be a nice thick metal let's take a look at this one now this one is obviously way longer so the longer a piece of metal if it's thick the uh the more flexible it's going to be so we just come up here and just you know so it's pretty nice thick i don't know how thick that is metal clearly marked and we have a 12 and one so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine for a poker right here 10 for a clip removal 11 and 12 so three different clip removal tools and this is just probably a keychain hole so that you can hang it up or whatever but uh you know with positive stops or the staircase i don't know what you call that staircase step when you have a uh a key you just run it down until it stops and pretty much you know, you know, where it lands, what it is. So that's five, four, uh, two, five looks like, and and two. Of course, with these common keyways, you, you you pretty much after you mess with them so much, you know which the what the cuts are without a gauge. But it is handy having some of these oddballs like this Yale, the arrow, the master padlock. Having a master padlock and a West lock of all things with a schlage or a best ic we have you know a2 style ic core so that'd be like a six right there i like having them all together if we if we took this and we moved over to this uh this one right here which is the angle what was that that came up first six so we go to there and we see here with the angle it kind of goes it like goes a little bit past it so if the key is not if the key is a bad copy of the key and you're trying to decode it, which is what you would normally be doing if you uh, had somebody come in and, and they have like a Walmart or a hardware store copy, and you can you can look at the shoulder of the key. That's your that's your cue for the most part. If the shoulder is cut down, say we match it up to a key blank, and you see the shoulder is obviously down further, that means all the other cuts are probably down almost a full step. So with with the angle style again we're just going to use this for an example you go and you put it on a cut because the cut is so far down it kind of goes like halfway between the numbers with the staircase it'll do the same thing uh but you can you can 
I don't know. You can kind of tell. Some people like angled. Let me know in the comments. Do you like the angled style or the staircase style? Uh, but, you know, this is, uh, regardless, we all know how to use a key gauge. It's, it's not to hold pins up to. That's not what these are for. I'm sure many of you know that old joke. But, uh, yeah, it's really nice. I, I've been using it for the A2. And I uh, hadn't really had a chance to use it for master padlocks yet. Let's see, what's that? Is it three? Yep. Three, three. That should be, three. what is that? Three, three, three? Wow. Great bidding, master padlock. And then, uh, and then six. I'm kind of disappointed there's no American. Let's see, we got eight, five, three, five, five. So let's see what the eight comes up as. Eight is six. Three is five. So you could use this. One is three. Three, five. So it's two off. So you could actually you could actually decode a key if you remember that, you know, it's two off. So if you read it as a six, you know it's an eight. Uh, and so forth. So, I mean, you could, it's actually 13 and 1. Shut up! Jesus. 13 and 1. Uh, and, and then now we're going to try this. Now, we all know how fond I am of this guy. And uh, these, you know, like new mode those, and, and he's overseas. So, that's, you know, that if, if you're into Euro cylinders, then whatever. But, you know, here in the U.S., we have very few of those. Uh, you know, the, the difference. Maybe between that for for the clip removal part anyway is it's wider, kind of gives you I guess a better grip. I, I've used it a few times for it, and I've actually got some locks out here that we're gonna try that on. So starting off with Schlage, let's try it with the uh, the poker. Which side are we on here? Let's get our let's get our poker there. Oh, it works! It works! And uh, take the key out, take the cylinder out. And uh, let's see, which one do we think? Let's start with A. I always start with A, right? I think it's I think it's actually going to be B, though. So A. No, you know there is a, uh, a there's a code right here. There is no website that I could find for Lock Monkey Tools. I could only find a few links to the distributors. Which, by the way, one of the Lock distributors' website was down this morning. B worked really well for that. Did you did you catch that? Hold on. B worked really well, so that that got in there and just wiggle it around, and there we go. Clip off. That's that's pretty nice. Uh, what else do we have? Let's go with this LSDA that is now our video uh, video subject subject to various videos. Let's see. This has a. Uh, Kind of awkward to do this. Ah, there we go. And uh, we need to get this cylinder out of here. Let's see if it'll come because I didn't bring a flat head. There we go. Okay, so we have a clip there. It's kind of like a defiant clip. Let's try B again. Think B will work? I think B. Look how well B. Look how well B sits on there. I like that. Look at that. You just kind of get it on there and maybe. Maybe, maybe. Nope, 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 maybe, maybe, maybe. So that's the problem with one thing is, is you know, it, it's in the way. Let's try A. A does not, whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, A doesn't work that well. Let's go over here to, what is it, D? D. Yeah, D's got a little weird indention there. Okay, D seems to work. Maybe a little bit better. Let's see, flip it over. Maybe it'll move that. Okay, not great. Not great. I think I'd still go with the screwdriver for that one. Uh, what other one? We got, uh, oh, quick set, quick set, quick set. Let's see. I'm guessing A for quick set. Let's, or B, I'm sorry. B looks like a good all around. Push her off her, right? 
Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. That was, that was nice. Uh, so the one thing with quick set, you have knobs. You, you still have to have a pickle fork or of some kind or a quick set removal tool because there's, there's no way to get the cylinder out with this. So it's kind of silly to go back and forth because you, you're going to have to use this to get the actual core out anyway. So it'd be kind of silly to pick one thing up just to put it down and, and, and do another one. So uh, normally you just flip that over, flip this, and then just wiggle that and it comes off. But uh, I was kind of wondering about how this will do because of course these, these little pegs are in the way. So let's see, B, we're gonna go B. Yeah, that's what I was kind of worried about right there. That, that doesn't really, the prongs are in the way. So let's try A. You know, it'd be good to sit on the bench. Okay, A kind of, kind of got it off there. Didn't really push it all the way. Okay, get back on. Get back on. Let's go over here to D. D, 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 D is about the same. About the same. So, it'll work. Uh, but it would be silly to, to have to use this and then just turn around and pick this to do that. Because really all you do is just flip it over. That's the good thing about the pickle fork. Uh, lastly, no, not lastly, uh, here we have a, a American padlock. Now with master padlock cylinders, there is no clip. There's just an indented side. You don't have a clip on the back of the master padlock. So say so you just turn it the right way. It doesn't come out unless it's, unless it's turned the right way. But with American padlocks do have a clip and that is a tiny little guy. So we're gonna see, we're gonna assume, let's go. Well, what do you wanna do? We wanna do D, let's get this out of the way. It's either gonna be A or D for sure. Just remember to keep your finger in front of it so it doesn't go flying. Oh, come on now. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Uh, it's a little, okay, there we go. A little awkward. Let's flip that back on. Let's go over to A, see if A works better for American. Not really. This is going to be way too wide. Oh, way too wide, but it still would, would do it. Uh, Sergeant. Sergeant's clips are a little special because they have that uh, hill. It's harder to use. A uh, flathead because if you do this, you know, on one side, because it's got this post that we're going to see, uh, it's better to have something that pushes it directly up and off. So we're going to see how well this works. Of course, there is no, there's no sergeant. I would love to have, I would love to have sergeant uh, cut out on this. D did not work very well. Ah, A, wor A works really well. Look at that. A works really, really well. Almost like it was, almost like it was made for it. Sergeant rim cylinders. Now these guys, you have to bend out of the way. These are, these are, and then bend it back. So, uh, uh, maybe. Oh, look at that. It wasn't on there very good, but. Uh, and lastly, an old Corbin Russ one with a, looks like a 550 plug there. So we're gonna go with the biggest one, which is B. And I uh, give this a shot. Ah, 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 come on. Nope. 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 Uh, this one you're not gonna run across a lot, so there's no real, no real worries about, about that one. I just wanted to give it a, give it a go since we had it. And it has a clip. Nope. Uh, yeah, I can see that. I don't know. Is that going to wear down quick? I don't know. But that is uh, it. You know, with, with the key, we've talked about this. I'll put the link to the video up here. If you've ever thought about buying one of these, do not. They're horrible. Uh, it's best to just use a variety of key gauges, even if you have to have several of them. You know, there's a few places like ProLock and... and uh, a couple other places that made multi key gauges like that but honestly i've never seen one with that many 
there may be some out there if you know of another one with that many in there post it in the comment section but uh there we go that is the lock monkey tool company which i couldn't find a website on these codes don't work that i can figure out but uh that's a pretty nice tool i'm gonna hold on to this one and uh keep using it and once i finally do uh, there's only like international key distributors or somebody i don't i don't know where to to get them you know if you see them and you need something like this i would i would recommend it i mean that's all i have to say about it i'm not being paid to sponsor that thing he sent them so i figured we'd talk about them because i've never heard or bought any lock monkey tools i've really never heard of it because our regular suppliers don't really sell lock monkey tool company it looks like they've got plug followers and, and just a handful of things they don't have many items so i can't really i'm not really a, a professional opinion on them i'm just telling you how I've, what i've exper experienced while i've been messing with that so i don't know if i can answer questions or comments on that particular product but we will be talking about the plug follower set right here as well as uh the other two little uh screw cap removal in a whole different video so that they stay kind of short uh, but in the meantime until then y'all have a great one we'll catch you next video